Hello friends, today I am doing a Walmart try on haul for you. I'm really excited about this one because we're also doing kind of like a first impressions video minus two products that I've already opened and been wearing. So I know you guys really like to see things that I love, things that look good, but also you like to see the misses so that if you're on the Walmart website and you're like, oh, that's really cute, maybe I'll get it. You already know whether or not to stay away from it if I have purchased it and it didn't work out. So I'm going to unbox everything that I've got right here. Um, and I will also have size info and direct links in the description bar and the pinned comment, the very first comment you're gonna see below so it's really easy to shop. And let's go ahead and get started. So first I wanna start with the two things that I have been wearing and loving. These have a huge sellout risk. So if you see them in your size, go ahead and grab them. They have a million different colors. I actually worn these so much I got them a little bit dirty, but I love No Boundary sneakers. I find that they're really comfy. They have a memory foam sole to them, but these I do find right here kind of gets a little loose. So make sure that you keep them fairly tight and you really tighten them up when you're tying them. Um, just because I do find that like, I don't know, they kind of like fold away from your feet. Um, they are extremely affordable and they fit true to size. I would definitely say these are not some of the like thicker no boundary shoes that I've had before as far as the sole goes, but very comfortable. I love just a good black and white simple sneaker. The other thing that I have been just loving is these jeans. I was not sure about the inseam. It said 32 inch inseam measurements. I have 30 inch inseam and I'm five foot nine. Um, and so I was like, mm, I don't know about those. Are they going to work? And I actually really like them because I feel like the distressing on them is fairly minimal and they are a light wash. I really love, I mean, I don't know, you can wear jeans whenever, but I prefer if I'm going to gravitate more towards light wash jeans, I do like to do them in the spring and summertime, um, whereas I tend to only gravitate towards darker washes in the fall and winter. So of course jeans are year round, but I do think these are gonna be great for the spring and summer. They are also on the thinner side and I did have to size up one for them to fit perfect, but they fit perfect. So I did get an eight in those and I'm a true size six. Now we will go ahead and open up the other stuff. I'm going to be brutally honest and say I don't even remember a lot of what I ordered. I did get a medium though in scoop, which is eight to 10. This dress I thought would be so pretty for a workwear inspo because of the tie on the left side here. And of course, the reason I'm putting everything up on screen is because this is a first impression. Um, all of this stuff does come in super, super wrinkled, but I feel like the tie is just so business appropriate. But I know that we are also starting to look for Easter dresses. I think what is Easter, the last week of March this year, it kind of changes. Um, and I have always at least just personal preference, I have liked wearing and buying dresses that I can wear again. Um, I don't particularly gravitate towards super, super dressy dresses. So I do hope that that will work as far as length, but of course, first impressions, I haven't tried it on yet. So my hopes are a good length on that one. This I am so excited about. I feel like there was actually really good stock this time. Stock is such a hit or miss with Walmart and it can really bum me out, but I feel like they had a lot of good stock. Look at how cute this cropped green jacket is. It is beyond soft. I love the buttons. Free Assembly is a sustainable line, so their stuff is, um, really, really incredible. Let's see. Medium. I cannot get over how soft this is. And I feel like it has a good structure to it, but it's not like super stiff either. This does not feel cheaply made. That is a really nice crop jacket. So I love, you guys know, if you've been following me, especially on Instagram, you'll see my outfits during the summertime. I get so cold year round. It's just a thing. And so I was really, um, last year struggling because I was also pregnant and things just didn't fit and look cute. So this year I'm excited to be able to wear jackets for when I am colder and them actually be stylish. I think I had like a cardigan that fit me last year. This dress, I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the style, but I wanted to give it a go. Again, I know we're looking for Easter dresses and this one looked a little bit more modest. Um, it does look big though. This is a, another medium but I like that it has the ability to cinch this waist up here if you need to. So that was why I grabbed this one. I do also like the neckline. 
We've got little ruffles there. So hopes are high for this one. It doesn't appear like it would be see-through, but let's, let's try. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to try this one on and see, but yeah, so far that's actually a really pretty one. I just think it does look a little bit on the bigger side. I've seen this one all over my Instagram and I am so excited because this dress is literally stunning on every single person that I have seen it on. And I, I am not kidding. It is beautiful. I got a medium in this. It is under $20. It's the Sophia like Vergara line. Her stuff, I just, it's always so pretty. And it feels very well made too. But look at that. Would that not be adorable? Our beach trip actually coincides with my anniversary this year. And so we are going with my parents to the beach. I'm super excited. And they have told us, they're like, we are absolutely keeping the boys. You guys go out for your anniversary. And so I've been thinking about a really pretty dress to wear. And I think this actually would be a great option um, for resort wear. It also has adjustable straps, which looks super nice. I'm hopeful about this, you guys. This Walmart haul is looking good so far. I like really boxy tees. And one thing in the past I have had to gravitate towards um, boxy tees that are either like relatively cropped or have some kind of something special because y'all know I just had a larger chest. Well, now that I have had a lift, I feel like my chest looks so much smaller. Um, so I am kind of reeling it in on super loose fitting stuff or boxy things, but I couldn't resist with this top. I guess it's just like now I can wear more form fitted stuff because it's more flattering, but I couldn't resist. This is a men's tee feels like incredible quality. Again, it is free assembly. It says oversized. I got a medium. I mean, I just cannot get over the quality of their stuff. Every time I buy something free assembly, even their denim, I just love it. So that's a really nice one. I know that like me holding it up obviously isn't the most helpful as far as seeing the appearance, but, um, initial thoughts, I'm gonna wear that one a lot. I had a pair of Target heels that I wore a few years ago and I loved them. They had a very thin strap though and they finally just kicked the bucket after being worn to like every wedding and special event that I had for years and years. And I saw these and immediately thought these would be a great option um, to kind of be similar to those, but they do look a little different. So these have a thicker strap here. It is not made of the same material. It actually feels a little bit more comfortable. They have memory foam soles. I got my true size nine and a half in these heels and they are a very low height, at least compared to what I'm used to. I don't know, it looks about two, two and a half inches, um, but still a very good height. So I feel like this is good if you wanted to look for a simple heel to wear for Easter. And then this, oh, another good spring top, just a simple layering, like longer. I could actually wear this even right now. Just the pretty purple oversized fit to it. It's a very, very thin though. This is time and true. I got a medium that is very oversized in my opinion. Um, on the thinner side, you can like really see my hand there, but the color is beautiful. These shoes I did get from Scoop. I wanted to, oh, those look huge. Oh my gosh, those are a nine and a half. Looks massive. I wanted a very simple gold flat. I have been looking for something, but I wanted it to be a little different than just like a straight across, like simple strap. I feel like I have a lot of those in my closet and it's just not like the best. So I do like the look of these. That looks massive though. My goodness. Let's try that on real quick. Um, and they are from the scoop line. Oh no, that fits. Well, I do have relatively large feet. I feel like a nine and a half is big. That looks super cute on, but um, I feel like nine and a half is like big for a woman's foot. I've always been told it is, but I don't know. So yeah, those are really cute gold flats. <gasps> this skirt, oh my goodness. I knew it was free assembly just by the feeling of it. This is Adorable. My thoughts here on this one, a plain white, either bodysuit or tee tucked in. You've got the little belt detail here with some simple brown flats. You could even do like Converse sneakers. I think this would be adorable though. It looks like a really good length and it has the adjustable belt with real pockets on the front. So, oh, those are adorable. Are they shorts? No, I thought it was a skirt. 
I forgot all about this paper bag mini skirt. Super, super cute for spring. These are a repurchase, kind of. I have these in like a million different colors now. Um, and I just wanted the, the black. I haven't been able to find the solid black in stock in my size. So this is nothing new. Y'all have seen me wear these a million times before. I have the green stripe, the blue, I have purple, I have a white like this. Um, I think I have a solid green as well. So I wanted to get the black because this is a really good layering tee and it did come in a little two pack. So while this maybe isn't my cup of tea as far as like styling goes, this just looks a little, I don't know, it's not my favorite like print. These are so soft. I could totally wear this to bed. Like this feels like a pajama shirt and I did get a medium so it fits really oversized. So um, yeah, that one was kind of like a pajama shirt in mind, but I wanted the short sleeve in the black and Time and True just has the best basics. Lastly, we have another option. I am not sure um, how some people, let's see. No, this right, this one isn't spaghetti straps. I thought this was another great Easter dress. It is so pretty and the color is amazing. So I got a large in this one because I wasn't sure about the chest and I have other celebrity pink options and they don't fit me um, well in my true size medium. So I always have sized up. I believe it is a junior's line, but the length is really nice. This is definitely gonna need a little bit of a steam. So we will see how that one wears, but I just think it is gorgeous for um, Easter and it actually does not look at all see-through. It has a lining underneath, but it doesn't come all the way to the bottom. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the unboxing process. Um, first impressions, I of course will put my full opinion in the comment section below with the pinned comment, like with all the details and links and everything. If there is something that I was like, oh, I tried it on and it just was not for me. I'll make sure I include that down there so that you guys know, but thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.